Hey everyone, welcome to Mickey Art. Now today I am going to be painting this gigantic pot. Uh, I haven't painted anything like this before. I have done 3D objects before. Um, yeah, this is something else. This is a really, uh, this pot has been in my life for quite a long time. My girlfriend gave it to me years and years and years and years ago. It's a ceramic pot which has a glaze. Um, it's been outside for years. It's doing some weird stuff. Uh, the tray that came with it, the paint, the glaze is coming off. And I have a peace lily in my house that I would like to put into a different pot. And this one kind of jumped out at me and said, me, please, I'm sick of being buried in the garden. So I've given it a big scrub, um, and that is all I've done. I have given it a big scrub. I have no idea how well this will stand up to um, being painted. It does have ridges in it. These are like dents, if you can see. It's actually been scribed. Um, so I'm sure those will come through when they're dry, when it's dry, and that's totally cool. I'm happy with that, and I have no idea how it's going to cope with the paint, with the water, with in the pot. I have no idea. How does it get any better than this? So what colours am I using? I have made up this burgundy now. This burgundy, let me see if I can give you a really good colour indication. Um, it's not focusing on my stack. Come on, focus. Anyway, that's the colour. It's a bit pur more purple than that. But for some reason, my phone likes giving red, blood red, instead of crimson red how does it get any better so this paint is made up from my Renault Art crimson red the Americana primary blue just a small amount very small amount and then some burnt sienna brown again a very small amount probably equal amounts of the blue and the burnt sienna and lots and lots and lots of the crimson red so what magic can we create with that then i'm also going to put in a little bit of cobalt blue from reeves acrylic americana festive green and some of the straight primary blue from americana and of course gotta have something shiny we've got some gold and then just to give it something contrasting, we're going to put some plain titanium white from Reeves. So let's get you mounted up high and let's create some magic. Okay, before we go any further, I just want to show you how I have this set up. I have my Lazy Susan and then underneath here, I have three spray cans. Y3 spray cans because that's what is a right height to keep the lip of the bowl up off the ground and create a flattish surface. It does wobble a bit. Those three cans aren't identical, but hey, you know what? It's as good as I'm going to get, and I'm sure it will do a really cool job. So, what we're going to do next is we are going to create our cup. As you can imagine, by the amount of blue and green I have sitting here, the predominant colour in this is going to be burgundy. Why? Because everything else in my lounge is burgundy and this is for me. So, <laughs> my curtains are burgundy, my... Um, my leather lounge suite is burgundy 
And so now my pot plant is going to be burgundy too. How does it get any better? Now, so, uh, I've been thinking, do I layer it? Do I do a pour, like a dirty cup? What am I going to actually do here? So let's, let's ask. Spiral pour with a dirty cup. Just a dirty pour. Layered pour. Layered spiral pour. Layered spiral pour is actually what's lightest. So, <laughs> I'm going to be doing big circles to make those spirals. Because I'm going to be going around the outside here. What I actually might do is turn, uh, maybe not, pour very finely and just... Hold it in one place and just turn. Maybe that's what we'll do. All right, so a layered pour. What's a layered pour, Michelle? A layered pour is where when you when you put your paint in, you try and get them to be on top of each other rather than Pouring them down on through each other. Okay, so I don't want a lot of green in there, but that's okay. Now, what I've just realized is none of that has silicon. So I'm going to put silicon into the green and the blue. Should I put some into the burgundy? Yes, no, no, okay. Um, some more burgundy. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm gonna go for a dark, the dark blue. That's the first one that we've got in there with silicon now, guys. Some more burgundy. Am I even going to put any white in here? What do you guys reckon? No, uh, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. No, it's lighter. Okay. Gonna stick without it. There we go, some more silicon. Some more burgundy, and I'm going to put some more gold and some more burgundy. And I think we've run out of burgundy. So, can you see that? It's layered. Layered, how does it get any better than layered? So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just take the rest of this burgundy that's in this cup. And just start off pouring. I don't know what I'm 
doing. <laughs> any of you that, that came on this video thinking, I've done this before and I haven't any idea what I'm doing. Tricked you, fooled you, ha ha. Um. <laughs> How does it get any better than this? So, I'm gonna... I'm going to let you view from that direction. And what I'm going to do is try. Try. What's that word? That's a weird word, Michelle. Try. I am going to create a mess. How's it get any better? I'm going to create a covering. That's what I'm going to do. Um, for those of you that have watched acrylic pouring before, you'll know that paint glides a lot better on already painted areas. So basically what I'm doing is trying to create a painted area so we don't end up with too much of a uneven pour and also by covering it with this burgundy color I'm also hopefully going to give us more of an even finish well that's my my target anyway when I say I haven't done anything before but if you look at the video number you'll see that we are into the 200s of all the videos I've done and they all are acrylic pouring style I've just not done anything on this size and this shape before I've watched some videos of other people doing it and some of them sound like they know what they're talking about. I'm not going to try and fool you. I have no idea. <laughs> Never done this before in my life. But what I do know is when you are pouring a dark cup like we've got there onto a light base there's a really good chance that you're going to end up with some of the light base showing up through especially when it's a vertical option like this okay now this spinning idea is not coming out as good as I hoped because it's not actually attached to the spinner. All right. I'm going to give up on that concept. It's as good as I'm going to going to get it. All right. <sighs> okay. Here we go. I'm going to pour Hmm. Okay, what can you see? It's an important thing here. Very, very slowly and turn rather quickly. Maybe hopefully to get an even sort of pour happening.
My main target would be that it doesn't tip off the sides. <laughs> tip off the, the stand I've made for it. Okay. Now, there's a lump there. I'm just going to continue pouring a little bit from the top. Do you know I'm going to stop that? Now, what I'm doing is I'm just picking up with my finger some of the paint that's fallen off and bringing it back up and dabbing it on especially in the places where the paint has kind of got stuck, not progressed and gone round areas. And it's just inviting the rest of the paint to come down, to pull down in those areas. and cover the whole thing. Now you can use a spatula for this, you can use your finger. It's totally up to you. I know that some of the other artists on YouTube really recommend using the um, palette knives because you can pick up large chunks of it and sort of wipe it on still keeping the color here we go we're a bit more even now now let's Go back around and have another look. Now, I am liking that. I could do a little bit more paint up there. Now, what I'm going to this next round is I'm just going to run my finger around so that the lip of the pot is getting paint on it as well. Okay. That's not necessarily going to be funky colored. It's going to be interestingly bizarre, but that's okay. Now, What you guys can't see, and I'm going to see if I can adjust the camera so that you can, maybe not, is there is colour in there. <laughs> it's not just straight burgundy. We've got ziggity zaggy lines of blue. Well, we don't have a lot of gold in there, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Put some gold into there and do another another pour around with gold gold and burgundy Oh, there's even some cells in that. How cool is that? And now we're running out of paint. And I want to get right around with this cool gold streak. Come on. We can do it. Nearly there.
There she is. Whew. And a splotch. All right. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that. Shockingly golden. I like that. Golden burgundy. Gotta love that colour. That was my wedding dress colour. Golden burgundy. Nope, there's not enough in there to get any more out. That's okay. It's gonna be fun. It's starting to run anyway. Awesome! So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that drain and um, see how it goes. It's just going to sit there and dribble off in its own little fashion and hopefully we're going to end up with something that looks amazing so let me just rinse my hands off because as you can see i am still playing with paint up here on the top which is underneath which is probably silly because then i'm gonna have paint where the water is gonna sit oh well what's right about that i'm not getting the important bit is that this bit here, where it's going to sit, actually dries flat. Does that make sense? Okay. Pushed some over the edge now. And that's quite purple rather than burgundy. That which is going over the edge. Because it's all mixed together. Okay, I'm going to rinse my hands and then I'm going to get you down and show you. Okay, so here we have it. And I'm just going to turn it around so you get to see all the sides. And it really is just a runny paint kind of look up to it. I'm loving that I added that gold because that's really, really adding a layer of yumminess to it. Just freckles of green and blue coming through. And it's very organic. How does it get any better than that? Now, I'm really seriously not going to torch that, I don't think. What do, I, what do you reckon? Should I torch it? Yes, no, yes. Okay, let me get the torch. Okay, I got the torch. Now, whether this actually creates any cells is a totally different story. It's probably just going to be used to be popping the air bubbles. Which I am seeing some popping. I'm seeing the lines in the pot coming through already. Um, 
I have no idea where I started. I suppose once I stop seeing the bubbles popping, I know that I've got all the way around maybe. awesome okay I'm gonna leave this to dry and um, I'll come back a little bit later and just check that rim so we don't end up with blib 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 on the bit that needs to stand up right um, and just gonna cruise around the top with my foam brush and just smooth out where it's actually going to be sitting just like that and around the rim see all that paint that's just coming pouring off Can I see? One last spin. See how it's looking. And look at the way that gold has just dribbled phantasmically. I like it. Not sure I'd put the green in it again next time. Gives it some dimension, but I'm not sure I like it. Alright, so I'll be back once this has had time to drain and dry and drip and make itself phenomenal and we'll see how it shows up. Alright, so here it is all dry and wow, I love it. Look at this got the lines from the original pot come through and then you've got the blues and greens are there but they're not in your face which is great and then that gold is like flames looking up from the bottom OMG I love it um, and then let me just sorry about any shading let me show you the bottom the bottom's come out all right. It's kind of got a bit of dribble effect. Um, yeah, it's, I think I'll definitely pick the side that I put on display. There's some bits there where you can see the blue coming through. So they can just go to the back. <laughs> um, but the pot itself is just yummy. Look at that. I'm so pleased with this. I'm so looking forward to having it in my home. Now, I actually have no idea how I'm going to finish this so that it can be used as a pot plant but holder. As you can see, it has had plants in it before. Uh, it's got for many years actually. I think it was an engagement present, this pot, years and years and years ago. Um, and I love it I love it I love it a lot there's a possibility that what I might do is just put a plant pot in the pot and just leave it exactly as it is um, yeah maybe that's what I'll do I don't know I'll have a look 
and I'll see, I'll choose. But there my, God, my beautiful friends is the stunningness of that gold shimmering. I adore it, I love it and I am super looking forward to having it in my home. So thank you for joining me on this uh, 3D excursion. Um, super super grateful for you to coming to play um, if you've enjoyed this video you might enjoy some of my others if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button if you'd like to know when I'm gonna go live um, then sign up on my email list mickeyart.com forward slash sign up and you'll get 24 hours notice before I go live as well as come play with us on the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group uh, there's so many amazing people in there sharing and gifting and contributing information and uh, their wins and their losses and their play playground fun um, I'm so super grateful to all of you and I will see you again in another video cheers bye